Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're going to talk about the next 30 day challenge that I have coming up on my channel. Um, you know, from my recent videos, I've been trying to get in shape and eat healthier and make healthier choices. Uh, one of my choices that I made recently was to uh, start rebounding. And so I've decided for me, and actually I talked to my sister channel, uh, Simply Katie Walks, and we decided that we would collab together and make it a step timber challenge and the name of it is going to be step timber stepping out of your comfort zone and that's what i want you to do this this month um or the upcoming month of september for me i've already stepped out of my comfort zone and put my fat on the internet mm, sorry about that folks um, but I am going to challenge myself to do 30 days non-stop, two exercises a day. I want to get one workout at work each day and then rebound for 10 minutes each day or each evening when I get home. I will have some shorts videos. I want to check in at least two to three times a week and let you know how I'm doing on my challenge, ask you how you're doing, and I'd really, really appreciate your feedback. Let me know what you want to do for Step Timber um, and how you want to step out of your comfort zone and live a healthy lifestyle. So that can be starting an exercise and diet program if you, um, you know, are like me and you're older and you don't want to hurt anything, definitely take it slow. This is not jump into September and just, you know, go ham and jump in and exercising and starving yourself. No, no. Find something that... You know how we love our comfort zones? We all do. We have something that we're like, oh, well, I'd love to start a diet, but Christmas is around the corner, and I just can't, you know, not have Christmas cookies. Or, well, I'd start exercising. I'm just going to do two pounds <laughs> like I did because I've got to make sure I don't get hurt. It you want to challenge yourself, but you don't want to overdo it. Start small, work your way up to big results, okay? So, if you are in that zone where you're just like, I know I've got to do it, and I want to do it, I just don't have any motivation, my friend and I, Simply Katie Walks, are going to be your motivation during the month of September. I'm quite sure she's going to be really good about checking in every day, probably during one of her walks, and I'm, I'm pretty sure her big event will be uh, shared as well. I don't know that she's um, announced that yet, so I won't give that away. But it's just this is going to be a way for all of us to come together as a community to support each other to root each other on and to live healthy and happy lifestyles right so i hope that you are very intrigued very inspired very happy very motivated if you find that you really want to before I started, I really wanted to exercise, but I loved just coming home and getting in my bed. And, you know, even now, I have to say, I'm going to do something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something until 9 o'clock. I force myself to stay out of the bed until 9 o'clock every single night. So that's tidying a space, editing videos, filming videos, putting away stuff like I got to do tonight from previous videos. Um, 
and then one day I just decided, you know what, that's enough. I can't stay down and sick all the time. I have to, I have to get up and exercise. My cholesterol was out of control. My A1C was getting out of control. My weight was out of control. That was it. I'm done. So no more 6 o'clock bedtimes for me. It's now 9 o'clock and I challenge myself every night to clean a space or film a video or edit a video and then I keep a running checklist because my personality type is to get in and get it all done. And that's how I've been about everything for my whole life. So when I started this exercise program, I said I'm going to start slow, build my way up. And that's exactly what I did. I started with diet by um, decreasing the amount of intake I was putting in my body. Then I started really looking at what I was eating and swapping out fried greasy bad foods for more healthier options. I started researching, you know, and learning more about what type of diet would best work for me. And it ends up for me because I'm so picky that I just kind of took bits and pieces of other diets and created my own. And I'm just trying to eat a high protein, low fat diet. The protein is to help me build muscle and bone density, and the low fat is to help me not gain any more weight as I'm gaining this muscle. Um, I've said before in another video, I believe, I don't know if it's been up yet or not, but um, it's not about a number on a scale. It's not about the number that you measure on your arms or your waist. Yeah, that's where you can see a difference. Pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to how you sleep. Pay attention to how you react to things in your surrounding. Are you snapping? Are you angry? Are you getting up moody? Are you falling asleep? I, I don't know if I even told you all about that. The multiple days I would fall asleep at a red light. Like I just couldn't keep my eyes open. Well, of course I was tired because I wasn't sleeping because I was eating sugar and sodas and fattening foods all day long and doing nothing but coming home, getting to bed at 6 o'clock. My body was like, all right, whatever. Now what? My mind wouldn't stop. Yeah. All of that has gotten much, much better. Now, of course, I've had an increase in my medicine uh, for my anxiety which has helped tremendously um, and once I feel comfortable that I have established a routine I'll then talk to my doctor about pulling back on the cholesterol meds and anything else that maybe I can take back you know um, I don't know that I'll ever be medi medication free um, I don't know if that can happen, but that's a definite goal of mine. So, the beginning of August, I did really good. The last two weeks of August, I have not done well. And while, you know, I blame it a lot on, oh, well, I had to get ready for classes, and oh, you know, when I get home, I've got to film and I've got to edit. We all make excuses. It's time to stop making excuses and just do it. Do it if you're scared. Do it if it's hard. Try something that you think you can't do and you will be surprised to learn that maybe you can do it. It isn't going to be lifting 20 pounds on the first night, but it might be doing three reps of 10 with five pounds. Amazing. Anything is better than getting in your bed at six o'clock at night, eating candy, drinking sodas, watching YouTube, getting fat. Okay. So I really implore all of you, join me and check out my friend Katie's channel. I'll put a photo up here of her channel and it should be linked down in the description below. I've made her channel a permanent link in my description because I always forget. Um, but definitely check out 
my September challenge and my progress. Check out Katie to see what she's doing for the September challenge. And join us and step out of your comfort zone and do something to feel better. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or need any more information, if you want to know where I got any of my fitness equipment, it's all in hauls. You can also just ask questions down in the comments below. Um, this challenge is going to start on S September 1st, and that will be on Sunday. So, get, up, get your leg warmers ready, get your headbands ready, because we're going to get physical. Alright guys, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, where we're going to have our last haul of the month. Saturday, we will have a cash stuff video for our budgeting series. And then Sunday, we'll start September. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 700 subscribers by the end of September. And you can make that possible by hitting subscribe today. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.